Yes, I made a Harry Potter movie with my kids. That's right, director, first time. They were off school, so I said, what am I gonna do with them? And so we decided to make a little short movie. And I think it's a great thing you could do with your kids. Couple of reasons, number one, little bonding experience with your kids instead of throwing them on a device to play video games all day. Two, uh, they get to see a little bit of the magic in movie making, a little bit of the special effects, what goes into multiple takes of something. And depending on the age of your kids, I think it could be a really good learning experience. It may spark something in them to make movies in the future. I know when I was younger, my friends and I used to take a video camera and we used to make really stupid movies. If you stay to the end of this one, I'll put a little bonus feature with that movie. All right, so a couple of things you need to make a movie with your kids. Number one, patience. <laughs> Number two, uh, you're gonna need a story of some kind. And in our Harry Potter story, my daughter is a first year. She's a Hogwarts student that is going to be trained by my son, who's older. And uh, she's pretty bad at her magic. That was our, our idea is that she would be bad. And that the twist, we had a twist in the movie is when Voldemort show, oh, he who shall not be named shows up. Uh, that was played by me. Oh, look, it's those little Hogwarts kids. Oh no, it's Voldemort. Then she would come out with her wand and completely save the day. So we had our whole arc there. Now keep your story simple because we filmed for about an hour and a half and our movie is like five minutes long. Now how much effort you wanna put into the story to have scripts, to rehearse, that's totally up to you. But just know that uh, if it's a shorter activity, it's something that could be repeated. If it's a huge, humongous production that exhausts your kids, they're not gonna wanna do it again or even make movies ever. So don't ruin their lives. Okay, gear. For gear, you want a camera that can shoot, or you could do it on a phone. It's totally up to you, but I use the camera and specifically a lens on the camera that has a very wide aperture. The reason for this is I wanted the aperture to be very open to give that filmic sort of look to the film. Did I just say filmic look to the film? Yeah, you know what I meant. I've been accepted at Hogwarts. And you wanna set your camera to shoot at a frame rate of 24 frames a second. 24 frames a second is what, you know, naturally Hollywood uses, so that's what we used. Next, motion. So we use the tripod for a couple of shots on a slider. I'll put links up below for everything I used, but it's good to get some kind of cinematic and Hollywood movement to your film. Or you could totally go budget like my friends and I did and we just stood there and shot. It doesn't matter. The point is, have fun. Next is audio. Uh, you can really go nuts with audio. I mean, what you really want, where's my boom? Ugh. Now this totally depends on what gear you have, but if you have a boom microphone, you could place it over the kids as they speak and go back and forth with the boom microphone and record that into an external recorder. Those of you that know what I'm talking about know what I'm talking about. If you're a budget filmmaker like I am, <laughs> I used a Rode Video Micro on the top of the camera. I decided to just go with in-camera recording of the audio just to keep things simple. Okay, next, it was fun to use clips that actually exist in Harry Potter movies, so I used something called 4K Downloader to grab some clips from YouTube for establishing shots. Uh, so that's something you can use. You can actually download. I mean, you're not selling this movie, so you can <laughs> borrow clips to use, and your kids will really enjoy that. If you're making a Star Wars movie or a superhero movie, use clips that exist and put them in the movie, and I think they'll really like that. And last, let's talk about edit. You can use iMovie or anything. It, our movie had cheesy special effects and I think that made the movie fun. Now, for the edit, I just threw the kids away. To me, they looked exhausted. They were done with the filming. Actors, you know them. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Meet your... The red dot? Okay, start over and just look at her. Stop looking at me. All right, go. You looked at me. Yeah. You're, um... <laughs> There's much more to magic than just waving a Ron around. <laughs> <laughs> so I just edited it myself and then we had a little viewing party afterwards. I think if you have older kids and you're teaching them, it's probably good to get them involved in how to edit, how to cut uh, a movie together, splicing, and then they could put it together and that might have more meaning too. So I think it depends on the age of your kids. 
my kids were kind of done with me after we shot. So uh, decide that for yourself. Involve them in the edit or not. I am a very strict director, so they were out of there. And lastly, share it. Share it with the rest of your family that's stuck indoors. Uh, I put it on YouTube as an unlisted video so that the family can watch it and they loved it. Uh, and it's a great memory to hold on to. The, ki the kids just changed so... What happened? Oh, on cue, the kids just changed so fast that you should probably capture something special like a dorky movie. All right, I'll meet you in the jungle. I'll tell you.